Hi, I'm Jadi and welcome back to Geeking with Jadi. I'm a real life programmer and showing you nice tips and tricks from the real life and other stuff, whatever amuses me. But today I'm shocked. I'm working for my company at the moment. Sorry, boss, for recording a video during the working hours. But this was super surprising. I showed it first to my colleagues and now showing it to you. What is it? It's an insane move from positive, insane move from GitHub Copilot. It's an AI which helps you in your programming. What is my task? I have written a program. It does something, something, something during a huge chain. At the end, I have to change lots of configuration files in this pattern. These are some translations. It says Wi-Fi access point one. This should be translated to this. So read this one and put it here. Now I have added two different paths and I have to add them here. It's a tedious task because I have to lot add lots of things. I say Wi-Fi access point WPS enable and Wi-Fi access point one WPA configuration modes enabled should be added. So I have to have the same thing here. The point is I was shocked as soon as I pushed the space. It says, do you want me to put here name Wi-Fi access point one WPS enable? Hmm. Okay. Same thing happened here. Practically it knows what I want to do. This is very strange. Even in other cases, it's more strange. In five, at the end, I will add my template lines here. This time, let me increase the font size a little bit. You can see that these are five, but here it is two, not five anymore. So I have to change mine to five to five. And then as soon as I push space, it says, do you want me to go with Wi-Fi access point two WPS enable? Same thing on the next one. This is insane action because this is a code which I have not seen by anyone outside our company and you now. And also it's a very, very, very nice AI. Even in some other files, these parts were not the same. For example, this we had Wi-Fi access point six security, blah, blah here. Here we had device land dot three and still this was working fine and super quick. So it's reading my code, kind of understanding the structure and acting on it. What is this? This is GitHub Copilot. Let's have a look and see how it works. I was thinking about recording a video about GitHub Copilot for a long time, never started it because I just do this for fun. Still, I will be super glad if you subscribe <laughs> and tell your friends and whatever you can do. Anyway, this is GitHub Copilot. After Microsoft bought GitHub, it seems they, ah, uh, let me go, there is a, ah, uh, here. It seems they had this codex model. It's from OpenAI. They had GitHub data and they had some public code and text on the internet. So they mixed them, created a plugin for VS Code, and you can find it for other editors maybe. So whenever you are coding, it will provide editor context to this AI. So you will get suggestions from all the codes on the internet. And then you improve these suggestions based on what you are doing with in the beginning, you may think that, okay, this is like any other autocomplete. But here, if you are a programmer, you would see first the advantage of using it. Second, how great it works. Let me create a new file. I'm programming in Python, but this works in many, many, many different languages. As soon as you start writing something, for example, I say uh, def add numbers says, okay, you want to add number A and B. This is the sample code I will provide you. Hmm. hmm. Even it can write tests. You say if def 
test at what I'm doing. Def test add numbers. It will write you a Python test for the function you had. And this is not uh, exactly based on knowing this. You can write your own. For example, I can say def add s to string. Okay, it gets s, adds s to the end of it. Then you can say def test add s. It sees that I have that function and write some tests for it. It's magical, really magical. You can even do things like, for example, def digits to str. Ah, digit maybe to str. I want something like, ah, exactly, I wanted this. See, it's making your life much, 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 much easier. This is Google, ah, sorry, not Google. We are used to seeing these things from the Google, but this is from Microsoft. Technically, it's called GitHub Copilot. It can even help you, for example, if you say def average. It says, okay, I can give it like this. No, this is not what I wanted. I want average of a list. Average of list. It says, okay, what about this? If I don't like this, I can do option bracket uh, open, open bracket, and it will give me other options for this. Or I can say, Numbers is a list of one, two, three, and just wait. And it says, okay, up to 10. How about this? It says, this is cool. Or you can say, uh, number of legs. It says, define something. I don't want to define. I just want a variable. So I can say, legs is no suggestion. I can say, cat has four legs, it suggests if you say dog has four legs, elephant has four legs, human has two legs. So it's just completing this, which is very fun. Catter. Pin has eight legs and other stuff. Snake has zero legs. This was super cool. <laughs> you see? It's really, really, really amazing how it works. If you want to install it for yourself, it's very easy. If you want my idea, it's start with searching on your VS Code for GitHub Copilot extension. Or whenever you are, just search for your uh, GitHub Copilot extension, if you are on Veeam or something. So it will guide you. It will show you... Okay, I'm installed. I need to access your GitHub account. You allow it, you will log in, whatever. And if you are eligible to use this, you will start using it. Otherwise, you will get a, you don't have access to GitHub Copilot. Join the wish wait list and you will join the wait list for some time. And then hopefully it will start working. It has other magics too. It can even uh, create functions based on a comment you give it. I believe, I hope it works. I'm not sure if this is dangerous for our job or not. I'm sure it is not. I said I'm not sure because let me explain a little bit more. Whenever something, some new automation, some new innovation comes, some people are afraid of it. When ATMs come, people think, ah, oh, we're the bank tellers will be out of job. No, you can see banks are hiring more and more people because new areas of work uh, start, exist, appear. Sorry, English is not my main language, as you guessed. Or, for example, when swing machine comes, some people think, oh, tailors will be poor, they won't have any job. But new areas arise and 
new people even start working in this industry. I'm not afraid of this part. This is su super cool. It helps us. What is not very interesting is sometimes when you keep it on, it's like a friend sitting with you, which is even sometimes wiser than you, and nudging you all the time and telling you, write this, write that, write your four like this, do it, do it, do it. This function is better than what you read, wrote. So this is bad. It doesn't let you concentrate on what you are doing. Sometimes it's super cool because for sure I know how I can, I don't know, merge two text files into each other. But I have to search. I cannot write from my memory. So I can just do def merge files. And it says, okay, files and output file. This is my suggestion. This should work. Or sometimes you have to search. I don't know how I can, uh, I don't know, save an image from a webcam. So I say def image from webcam returns an image from the webcam but this returns the image i want to save it to a file so i can say uh def webcam to file wow this is too huge I go to the next one, go to the next one. Okay, it's doing crazy things. See, whenever you have AI, crazy things will happen. I want webcam image to file. Okay, this is exactly what I wanted. It imports this. Camera video capture, camera read. Image write, CV2, and camera release. Why it's importing NumPy, I don't know. This is the part I was talking to you that I'm afraid of. Sometimes you just copy paste code from the internet and you wish it works, and as soon as it works, you accept it. This is a bad habit. You have to understand your code. I even have seen a production code in which someone have copy pasted code from the Stack Overflow and commented the comment section. So uh, he copy pasted everything and commented out the parts which was creating errors, not even removing them. This is a problem. For example, here I believe we don't need NumPy, but it's importing. When you are working with this, some people may start writing code that they don't understand. This is dangerous. This can create bugs. But in general, I'm super positive. You saw how I enjoyed today's job and decided to record this video and show you how it can help. It's really, really intelligent autocomplete. Or it can, it can save some time for me instead of going to the Stack Overflow or documents. I can just do this. This is super cool. The danger is when you don't understand the code and you just use whatever this suggests. Another point is, I was thinking, Maybe someday they won't need me and they just add comments and this thing writes the code. For example, if you just add a comment, check if git ignore file exists. If yes, delete it. it. Says okay, if OS path is file git ignore, OS remove git ignore. Okay, it seems that day is here. Okay, this is reality. I can add comments. Scrape GitHub repo. It says dev GitHub scrape, username, password, repo name. Any more suggestions? This one was difficult. AI is thinking I would be faster. Login to GitHub. Login headers. GitHub repo URL. Get a repo content. File name. Oh my God. 
we are there. I should resign. Hopefully, this will be expensive. At the moment, it's not open for everyone. So my manager still needs me. Jokes aside, any automation is good for us because we can do more cool stuff, at least to some extent. I really like this. This was second part was really, really shocking. Only from my comments. I know that it can create from the comments even uh, here. You can just give it a JSON schema and it can start writing the code of that schema. Anyway, this was super cool. Nothing else to add. Have fun. If you want to start using it, go and install the GitHub Copilot extension on your VS Code and it will guide you for the steps or search for getting started with GitHub Copilot or go to the copilotgithub.com and uh, enroll, sign up and you will be in the waiting list. I'm in the technical preview and I hope this stays free for me, not for my boss.